Today we're going to be going over the next chapter in the book of Celebrations of Discipline on fasting. So come on and follow me. Check it out right here. Next chapter is on fasting. Today we're going to talk about fasting in terms of the abstaining from food for spiritual purposes. So that's what we're going to be going over today. Quick review. Um, how long do you think you can go without food? Well, just so you know, 40 days. And your body, in terms of water, can only go three days without water. And uh, we talked a little bit about that. We are going to scoot over to this side. You can see it all. Bam. Scoot over to this side. There's three different types of fast. There's one, which is a normal fast, which is no food, just water. Two is a partial fast, which is little food and water. Absolute fast is a third way, which is no food, no water. Supernatural fast is something that you have no food or no water for an extended period of time. These last two are extremely danger dangerous and should only uh, be undertaken if you know that specifically God is guiding you to do that and commanding you to do that. So we're going to talk a lot about the normal fast, which is no food, just water. Um, in the book, it mentions that fasting is always coupled with praying. You notice the little hands being held right there. But these are two things that go hand in hand. Um, let's skip down here real quick. And, well, we'll just mention we talked about watchings, which, which Paul does in Scripture, and it's the abstaining from sleep. We just thought we'd give that an honorable mention. Um, but not mentioned nearly as much as fasting. And the interesting thing is that in Scripture, uh, fasting is mentioned way more uh, than, than even the giving of money. And yet we put a lot of weight on the giving of money and not much weight on fasting. So we're going to talk a little bit about fasting. And let's see some things that the author suggests about fasting. Uh, to begin a fast, he, the author mentions that it's better to have smaller meals rather than stockpile before you start. Um, and then to maybe have your last meal be fresh fruit and veggies, which is kind of what we talked about, the soap that might kind of clean out your system as you fast. And then also have small portions in and out of your fast when you're doing that. The first three days are always the hardest in a normal fast. And you'll have a lot of hunger pains, maybe headaches from caffeine and sugar withdrawals. And then by the fourth day, you begin to get less hungry, which you kind of come out of that. But you may be dizzy, and experience dizziness, and you really need to slow down and kind of rest. And the sixth and seventh day, you start improving. And by around the 10th day, you, feel, you should feel like you could go on kind of forever, which is pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to scoot over here. And there's two ways that, that you usually hear about fasting. One way is the individual way, and that's between you and God. And the second way is a group fast, which the goal is to be in one mind and, and to be in prayer in both of those types of fasts, but be in one mind as you pray with the group. Um, when you do this individually, you're, you're not to uh, make it a big deal and um, tell people about it. You just kind of do it yourself. And uh, also, you're not supposed to mope around. We talked about that a little bit. Um, and all this, remember, should be for spiritual purposes. If not, it's just an empty tradition or uh, empty act, which is why it got a bad rap in the first place after been practiced for hundreds of years. The diet egg, we mentioned that concept, which is a two-day-a-week fast on Wednesday and Friday. Um, we also pointed out that there are no commands to fast in the Bible, so in case you're looking for it, it's not there. And, um, oh, we're going to go back here. We said six days you start improving. By the tenth day, you feel like you go on forever. And then between the 21st and 40 days, the hunger pains... Um, come back and when they do you really need to stop because that's that's when your body's telling you um, when it starts actually using the healthy tissue in your body and you need to stop your fast immediately. Um, we also talked about how because fasting is uh, 
such a difficult thing to do and we're so used to feeding our, our bodies whenever they're hungry that this takes a lot of self-control and discipline to even practice. We talked about um, the diet egg, people practicing fasting two days a week regularly and um, some different thoughts like that, which are really cool. And that's all we're going to talk about right now for fasting. And we'll see you next week.